In this video, we're going to see how to implement Bootstrap's navbar into an existing page. And this page is a Timeleaf Spring Boot page. So first of all, you notice that we have a search term that we want to have across the top of each of our screens. If we take a look at the navbar, we'll see this is a predefined Bootstrap component. And there are many different ways that you can implement this navbar. Some simple, some more complex. So you see we can have actual navigation going across the top. Or we can have one that simply says search like this, or maybe even a title with search on the right, which is exactly what I want. My thought here is that there's a good use for navbars. One is if you have a search screen or a search field embedded in the navbar, then you don't need a separate search screen. And try to avoid having a separate search screen. You might say, well, how do I have them search for all of these different attributes? Avoid making a search screen like this where you put every possible thing on the screen. A better way to do it is a more search engine approach where you just have one box and the user can type whatever they want in there and then you can search based on that. Also, we want to avoid too many distractions. So sometimes people will create a nav bar and then they try to fill it up with links about us, help, terms of service. When you put all of those links across the top, you're distracting the user from the main focus of your application and what you want to do. So simple is always best. To use this, I've already added all the bootstrap magic to my HTML page. So all I need to do is copy this one nugget and then kind of massage it a little bit to make it fit. So I go back to my project and I'm going to go to the HTML page that we saw just a moment ago. I go to the top and you see this is where my existing search box is, the one that doesn't look very pretty. So I'm going to paste in that nugget that I got from Bootstrap. And now what we need to do is simply make these two things one and the same. So first of all, you'll see on line 17, we have a form element that came from Bootstrap. And on line 23, we have the form element from our Timeleaf Spring Boot HTML page. Well, the nice thing is that none of these attributes are duplicated. So we can simply take the attributes from one, cut them and place them into the other. Similarly, if we take a look at our input, you see import, input class, and then we have type equals search, and then placeholder search, and then label search. Down below, we have a search button. So once again, we can simply mix these two together because we have our input down here for our search term. So input type equals text. If we look up here, we see type equals search. Uh, we'll leave that as is. What we don't have up above is a name and, I, and an ID. And that's great because those are the two things from down below that we want to put up above, just like so. After that, there's not much left from our original form that we need to keep. Uh, one note is that the new form from Bootstrap includes a button and we had a button down in our old form. So we don't need that button anymore and we really don't need any of the form skeleton anymore. So we can simply clean that up and then redeploy. I've redeployed and now we can refresh this page to see what the new look and feel looks like. Much better. We want to change that navbar text, but that's easy to do. That should really be the title of our application. So let's call it My Plant Diary. Refresh. And we see it now says my plant diary. Now, one thing that's really handy here is do you see this word search? And when I start typing something like Eastern, you notice that word search goes away. Well, that is this attribute called placeholder. That is a really nice way to make a user interface because you're essentially embedding the label inside of the component. And then you don't need a separate label and separate input text component. Saves a little bit of typing, makes your application user interface a bit less cluttered. Nonetheless, let's see if this still works as it did before. Before we could search, it would take us to a plant search page and it simply returned a blank page with OK with a 200 response. I simply want to make sure that changing our UI still allows us to do that. I hit search and sure enough, you notice we get to our page here. It does come up blank, but there's no error. It did, it did give us a 200. So in this video, we saw how to implement the bootstrap navbar. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.